and we did that show 51 years ago. I have something that I want to do, Mary said I would do today if I could. This was used on the USS Kennedy in the Persian Gulf during the Iraq War. I have it over there with the Mormon choir singing the Battle Hymn of the Republic. And I just feel real proud to tell you, pretend there's a flag here, and we're talking about it right now. I am the flag of the United States of America, conceived in the dreams of liberty and the hopes of freedom. I was designed by the hands of Betsy Ross, and her sewing basket was my cradle. So I was there an orphan. I was adopted by the Continental Congress in 1777 and proclaimed the national emblem of a nation, newly born on this continent, fighting valiantly for survival and destined to bring to all mankind a new concept in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I rode with Ethan Allen, the Green Mountain Boys, at the Battle of Fort Bennington. I was flown above the decks of old Ironsides and the massive Yankee Clippers. I blazed the trail with Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett. I led the settlers coming west and crossed Death Valley in a covered wagon. Once I fell to the ground at Custer's last stand to Little Bighorn, there were no living hands left to pick me up. But I galloped up the slopes of San Juan Hill with Colonel Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders in the United States Cavalry. I was carried through the halls of Montezuma onto the shores of Tripoli by the United States Marine Corps. I stayed with the boys till it was over over there on the battlefields of the Marne, Chateau Thierry, St. Mihiel, and the Argonne Forest. I saw many of the youth and manhood of our nation fall and lie still in death that given their last full measure of blood. The war was over for them forever, but I kept my lonely vigil over their graves and stayed to watch the poppies grow them into crosses row on row in Flanders Field. I was raised by six brave Marines and sailors during the hell of Iwo Jima in the final hours of World War II. I haven't changed much in 236 years. I still have original 13 stripes but as each state came to the Union, a new star was proudly added to the constellation of my blue field. Started with 13, now there are 50. I've draped the caskets of our nation's heroes and borne to their last resting place the bodies of presidents, generals, admirals, humble privates, and the unknown soldier. Wherever free men gather, wherever there's justice, equality, faith, hope, charity, truth, and brotherly love, there too am I. When you recite the Pledge of Allegiance to me, don't merely mouth the words, but think of what they mean to you and mean what you say. And when you come to the phrase, one nation under God, remember it matters not what your religious belief. It only matters that you hold your faith dear, that you practice it daily, and that you preserve it forever. History will never write my obituary, for I am the stars and stripes forever. I'm old glory. I'm your flag. I am you. I'm thankful I was in Patton's Third Army Combat Engineers. We liberated Booking Wall Concentration Camp. I told that to the middle school in Burbank. The little boy in the back of the room said, ah, that never happened. I said, don't say that. I was there. Later I met Rabbi Keene in the largest Lions Club in Long Beach. He said, Jimmy, I'm Rabbi Keene. I was at Booking Wall concentration camp. He stood there hugging and crying. Later had a program called Survivor of the Holy Cost. He had me speak and he said, Jimmy's one reason I'm here today. I said, don't say that, Rabbi. But we need to pray for our country. We're going through something you can't imagine. We'll make it. We'll make it. God bless you. God bless America.